Hello and welcome back to iGAO 4. In this instructional video, Tyrant is going to go over how to create a YouTube account if you don't already have one, post a video to your YouTube account, and then finally officially submit your video to iGAO via the website and the Google form. So if you already have a YouTube account, then you can kind of just jump ahead and use the time bar here. There sh it should be broken into different segments. For this season of iGAO, we are requiring that all videos be posted to YouTube ahead of time, and then you share the link with us as our form of being able to watch the video. We are requiring all videos be on YouTube this season, because in the past we've had too many issues with copyright and getting our streams blocked. So if all videos are already uploaded to YouTube, then we know ahead of time that YouTube will not be blocking them. So if you're interested, you're perfectly allowed to use copyrighted music as long as YouTube doesn't completely block your video. So if you get what's called like a copyright claim, where YouTube's telling you that, hey, this company is says you're using your their music and we're, they're going to take all the revenue, that's totally fine. Or if you get a revenue sharing one, which they do now, where they take a certain amount of the revenue because you use the song for part of your video, then that's also okay. Both of those are totally fine. Should have an image of those on screen, hopefully what it looks like, the email or what it looks like in your uh, YouTube information. Um, but the only thing that you need to avoid is having your video completely blocked. So if it says you're not allowed to watch it in the US or any of the other major uh, countries, then that would not be allowed because we have to be able to view your video, of course. All right, so now let's go over to Tyrant and he'll start the tutorial. Thanks, Skittles. Hey guys, I'm Tyrant, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to create a YouTube account, how to upload a video, how to add the iGAL4 hashtag, and how to submit your video for the weekly challenge. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is create a YouTube account. Go to youtube.com and click on the sign in button in the top right hand corner of the screen. From here, you're either going to sign in if you already have a Google account or you're going to create an account if you don't already have one. So we're going to click create account and for my personal use. So if you don't already have a Gmail account, go ahead and click this button here and then go ahead and type your information. So I'm just gonna call myself Tyrant Igao Forever. And Tyrant Igao Forever. And a password. And click next. And you're gonna select your phone number. And it's going to be sending you a six digit code here in a second, just to verify that it's your phone number. Once you receive your six digit code, you're going to type it into the field here. So in my case, it is 131730, and it's going to be different for everyone. And then you're going to click verify. And all this does is just verify that this is your phone number in case you happen to lose your password, it can send you a temporary passcode or something to your phone to help you recover your account. So at this point in time, you can do a recovery email if you want. Uh, it's completely optional, but it will require you to put in a date of birth. So I'm just going to put one, one, 1990 and mail click next. And then from here, I'm going to click skip. Scroll down, you can click more options and go through this if you want. I'm just going to click I agree. And at this point in time, you know you're fully signed in because you're going to see a letter at the top right indicating that it's your account. So in my case, T for Tyrant. To upload your video, you're going to click on the camera icon in the top right hand of the screen and then click upload video. If you haven't already customized your account, you'll be given the opportunity to do the basics here, which in this case, you're gonna choose your name, your handle, and upload a photo of yourself or your logo. And then you're gonna click Create Channel. So now in the middle of the screen, it's gonna say Upload Video, and you're gonna go ahead and click it. 
and this is going to take you to YouTube Studio. So we're going to click Continue, and then select Files, and you're going to pick your video and click Open. And at this point in time, we're going to be given the opportunity to edit all the details of our video. So a title is required. So we're going to call this hashtag igal4. And what hashtags do is that it allows someone to search for the hashtag and all the videos with that hashtag are going to be popping up. So if you want to see what some of the other people are doing for their videos, you can just search for igal4 or hashtag igal4 and then you'll be given all the videos related to that hashtag. And then I'm going to call this preseason week one tyrant. Uh, you can make it whatever you want, but the most important thing is you want to include this little igal4 hashtag. Um, in the description field, you can talk about your experience. You can tell people what whoop you were flying, anything you want. And then beneath that, you have the opportunity to upload a thumbnail. A thumbnail is the picture that you see on YouTube videos before you actually click and watch the YouTube video. So it kind of lets people know what the video is about without reading any of the captions that go with it. And then once the video is processed enough, um, if you don't want to upload a thumbnail, you have the opportunity to select uh, three different frames from within the video that you could use as your thumbnail. If you're lazy or you just don't care, just select whichever one is the best. Below that, we're going to have the option to create a playlist. I recommend it. Um, so we're going to click create playlist and then new playlist. We're going to call this iGal4. Keep it public or you can make it unlisted or private if you want. I like to keep it public so that Anytime anyone wants to watch any of my iGal4 videos, they're all in a single playlist together in chronological order. So it's a great way of like keeping track of all your videos and keeping them all in one place. So you're going to click create and wait for it to be created. And then once it's finished, you'll know that it's been created and it's selected for your video because there's going to be a little check mark right next to it. So you're going to click done and additionally it's going to say iGal4 in this field right here. And then you're going to select no it's not made for kids. And then you could select show more if you want and here it's going to give you the opportunity to place additional tags um, just making it easier for people to find your video. And then Oh, I kind of forgot to mention it, but at the bottom, you're going to see the upload progress as well as uh, checking for copyright, which is going to be in the following screens. Uh, so when you click next, it's going to take you to the video elements. For the majority of people, this isn't going to really matter. This is more for like in screens to kind of help promote some of your other videos or to add cards throughout your video that kind of directs people to other channels or content. So we're just going to ignore this and click next. And this tab is checking for copyright issues. So if you use your favorite song uh, for your video, more than likely it's going to be copyrighted, which means that your video or this particular video is not going to be mon monetized if you qualify for monetization. Uh, so earning ad revenue um, via long videos or shorts. Um, but if you don't plan on trying to make money, then it doesn't really matter. Pick your favorite song. So in this case, it did not find any issues with copyright because I didn't use any songs in the video that I uploaded. So we're going to click next. And then from here, you have the opportunity to make your video private, unlisted, or public. So if you want everyone to see your video, even random people who search for the igal 4 hashtag, you're going to click public. Um, if you don't want your video to be searchable, um, you're going to click unlisted. That way, when you submit your video, people, anyone that clicks on the link will be able to watch your video. I do not recommend selecting private because if you do this and you submit your video, then Skittles or anyone who clicks on that link will not be able to see your video and that could get you a letter. So if you don't want people to see your video, then click unlisted at a bare minimum. And you can also schedule a time and date for when your video goes public. Uh, but in most cases, it's not really necessary. So we're going to select public. 
and then click publish. And your video has been uploaded. So to get the link, you have one of two options. You can either click the little icon right here to copy your video link, or in the left-hand side, you're gonna see that you're in the content page. And if you're not, you're gonna wanna click content, and then you'll see your video over here in the middle. If you hover over the three little dots and click on options, you're gonna have the option to get a shareable link. So we're gonna click that, and at the bottom it says link copied to clipboard. Now you have your link. And last but not least, it's time to submit your video. So we are going to go to igao.co, and that's gonna take you to internationalgameofwoop.com, or you could just type internationalgameofwoop.com instead. I like the shortcut version. Once you're here, um, you're gonna click submissions in the top right-hand corner. And then there's gonna be a link here for the Google form that you're gonna to have to select. Um, since there's not one available, I've been given an example form from Skittles. So we're gonna pretend that we click it and then it's gonna take us to this form over here. So once you get to the form, you're gonna type in your email. So forever at gmail.com and then you're going to need to type in your pilot name and you're going to need to use the exact same pilot name that you used when you registered for iGal 4. So if you have any kind of crazy characters or weird spelling, make sure to spell it exactly the same. So I'm going to type tyrant and then that link that you copied is where you're going to paste it right here. And um, and you have to use YouTube. You can't use any other hosting services because from my understanding, what happens is that if there's copyrighted music on another hosting services video, then after the live stream is over, the live stream is going to get hit with copyright and it's gonna mute the entire live stream. So anyone that wants to go back and watch their video in the live stream, they're not gonna hear any audio. So it's very important to make sure to use YouTube. And then if you are a 777 bonus tier Patreon, which I highly recommend, it is an amazing giveaway with tons of really good prizes. I'm talking HD zero goggles, some bind and flies. I think there's even a five inch in there. I could be wrong on that. Um, for the price and with how great your odds are of winning one of these prizes compared to the standard giveaway among all 900 plus pilots, your chances are greater and the prizes are greater. So I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna click yes. And then if you are a bonus tier Patreon, you're gonna input your email address here or your username. And then you're gonna click next. And the second page is completely optional. You don't have to do it, but it's highly encouraged. You're already here. It takes a minute or less. Let's just go ahead and do it. So if you have any feedback at all about the challenge, whether it's positive, negative, or you have suggestions to help improve it, then I highly recommend putting your feedback here. All it's gonna do is help make future iGAO challenges even better. And then afterwards, you are gonna select which set of goggles you used or camera. Um, hopefully I get my HD zero goggles in time. So I should be selecting this for most of my challenges. And then you're gonna select the size of whoop that you used for this challenge. Um, I'm gonna be using a 75 Pro, which is technically 80 millimeter, but I'm just gonna call it 75. You're gonna select your prop sizes which for me, it's gonna be 45 millimeter. And last but not least, you are gonna select if it's a bind and fly, a bind and fly with some minor changes or a custom build. A bind and fly is a whoop that's already pre-built, ready to go. You bind it, you fly it. Um, a lot of people are gonna have this. It could be a Meteor 75 Pro bind and fly. It could be a Mobula 7 bind and fly. Um, some people are going to buy bind and flies, but 
make some changes to it. So maybe you want a different set of props or motors or maybe a different camera. Or if you're like me and you like to build your drones, this is where you're going to hit custom. And then you're going to hit submit. It's going to make you find the motorcycles. And voila, you're done. So congratulations, you have just submitted your first video. Hopefully you enjoyed the challenge and I look forward to seeing everyone's videos.